the two of them, the two of you, the two of them, versus the two of us, or the two of us. This also works for three. There's three siblings, the three hand shape, but because it's not linear anymore, I can't do it back and forth, the three of us, or the four of us, the five of us, the six of us. Most of the time, once you get to five, you'll see the six, six of us, six of us, but you can do six of us, seven of us, eight of us, nine of us, then that's that rule of nine thing, you can't do ten of us, ten of us. All right. To be close to somebody, the two of us, we're close. This doesn't mean physically close, though it could in this sense. We're close. We get along to get along versus not get along. Two of us are close. The two of us close, yeah, sort of. Sort of. Versus the two of us, not close. The use of negation, you see the head shape, not close. When we're getting into our ranking, oldest, old, oldest. My siblings, the oldest. My siblings, last, last. You will also see the sign youngest. This is young, youngest, old, oldest, young, youngest, or last. Last works as well. Sisters and brothers, siblings, you son, sister, and brother. Number of, obviously, we're going to use our, our ranking. Do we have none? Only. Just me. One. Only. Sisters, brothers, none. Only. If you have enough siblings that you're going past the five of you, you have more than four, as you see number five, you have more than four siblings, you're going to get into the sixth, sixth, seventh, eighth. You're using that ordinal number, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. When we're talking about number of siblings, just like we did with number of children, you have a couple of options. Sisters, brothers, siblings, you have you. Your first option is negation, none. It's true, I'm not only. Your second option is that contrastive structure for how many siblings you have. Not you included, how many siblings you have. So, that would mean three of us. I have one brother, one sister, and me. Two sisters, one brother. That's this option, my contrastive structure. My last option, unless you want to get into that one again, my last option is the simple statement, because all of my siblings are of the same gender, regardless if it's my gender. All of my siblings are of the same gender. I have one brother, two sisters. I have three sisters, four brothers. They are all of the same gender, even if it's not the same gender as me, so I can make it a simple statement forward. We'll keep going. Okay. The next part of this is ranking your siblings. Not my favorite, 
but where you fall in the list. This would be the firstborn, the lastborn. There's five of you. So do you have siblings? Oh yeah, I have two sisters, two brothers. I'm this one. So I would be the first, second, third, fourth. When we get into talking about our siblings, you rank by placing yourself. So if there's two of us, one sister, I'm this one, I'm this one, meaning I'm the youngest. When we get into talking about our siblings, you're going to list them in order of age. So yeah, two sisters, two brothers, I'm this one. So I'm going to talk about them now. I already know I'm this one. My brother, and then you give me information about him. This one. My sister, information. My sister, give me information. My brother. But I'm this one, so I can skip over. 